If you're looking for Robert Gunn this summer, you'll most likely find him out on a football field, perfecting his craft. It's amazing how you can just throw your body in through the ball and let your hips carry through and just smash it and that sound. That ball just boom is amazing. This is all part of the senior from Pinellas Park's daily routine. I just thought kicking was cool. Being a specialist, you know, you get to win games, pressure's on you. Robert began kicking at an early age and quickly learned his leg was as big of a weapon as a long touchdown run. It's my first year of tackle football. Coach asked me if I could kick a field goal. And I was like, sure. So I kicked a field goal, we made it. And that's how we won most of our games because youth league, extra points are worth two. From that point on, he was hooked. As an eighth grader, his father would take him to the prestigious kicking world camp in Orlando. I started kicking and I was like, holy crap, I'm actually doing better than these juniors and seniors. So I won the camp. I got a national showcase invite to go out to Austin, Texas. And I was one of the one of eighth graders to first ever be there. At Pinellas Park, Robert's reputation continued to grow. <laughs> Soon he found himself as the number one ranked kicker in his class in the nation, earning an invite last year to Team USA's under 17 international game in Dallas against Japan. Kick is up. Does it have the distance? It does. 50-yard field goal for Robert Gunn. By the end of his junior year, the Power 5 schools were lining up. This summer, on a campus visit, Robert lined up for the biggest kick of his life on the field at Clemson's Memorial Stadium in front of head coach Dabo Sweeney. He's like, all right, kick 60-yarder Gunn. He was on his knees like, game winner Gunn, right here. And he's standing down there and just right down the, right down the line. It was awesome. You made the 60 yard? Yes, sir. He said it would have been good from 72. Robert's hard work would pay off. Coach Sweeney offered him a full ride to Clemson. I started tearing up, and uh, he goes, so how long is the wait? I was like, Coach, I'm all in. Well, the recruiting process is over, and the nation's number one kicking prospect for the class of 2021 can now focus on his senior year at Pinellas Park and follow the advice he received along the way. Stay humble and work hard and just keep always be hungry and just try to help others that are trying to be in the same shoes that you are one day. In Tampa, Mike Cairns, Spectrum Sports 360.